Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, you know, last time I said, and it's been like a week or two or something, because I've been like busy with the patches and all that. But I said, you know, I was going to like halfway level or something like that. And I forgot that actually um, something they started in Stormblood was that you wouldn't need any of your quests in order to get any of your skills except for the level 70 skill. So I just went ahead and leveled past that because Passage of Arms is a very niche niche skill that is only really useful in raiding, uh, savage raiding to be precise. Uh, so we'll, we'll get to that when we get through these quests. But anywho, uh, quest time. Tournament of the Century. Mm-hmm. Prestigious Ool Cup, huh? Or All Cup. I haven't heard of it. Sasagan All Sisagan. That's a name, alright. Oh, of course, of course. They're, they're bringing it back. Promenade, you got any in-between dialogue? Okay, not really. Just just a repeat of what he what he already said. Uh the Royal Promenade okay, yeah. Uh, I was about to jump off the edge, but uh Yeah. I don't come to Ulda enough to uh get really familiar with anywhere except for the quicksands. Giggity. No. <sighs> Aldar has some really nice stonework, but I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, Gridania and Limsilamensa are far better cities. I don't really like the vibe Aldar's got going on. I also don't like the Sultana, so you know, there's that. Hmm, Gladiator's Guild, you say? Very well, very well. Uh, I want to take the time to get Clyde a different sword to Glam, because he's got he's got a Cripplicker sword right now, and all my other you know Dark Knight tank gear, or whatever you know his his Econo, Econo tank set with tons and tons of tenacity. Because fuck it, and uh, you know like. I worked so hard before to get, what is it, the Serpent Elite's Great Sword, and there's a smaller version of it that's literally the exact same sword except smaller, uh, and as a result, the uh, the way the blade starts to brighten up towards the edge, it's like a little bit brighter. But there's a one-handed version of it that also costs 1700 allied seals, and I kind of want to get that, because it kind of goes with the green I like. Oh, look, it's Handaloo. Hi, I am Franz. I wonder if he says anything different if you'd, uh done the Moogle Mail quests. Because if you do the Moogle Mail quests, you save his life from some attackers, and he tells you that he wants to fight you someday because your swordsmanship is... or the way you fight is so beautiful. Or, you know, or whatever. Like, it's... funny. But... Yeah, and I'll whoop your ass again. Uh, I hope someone else kicks your ass so I don't have to. Black Lotus. Sounds like a... 
Oh, isn't that a character out of Bushido Blade? I'm pretty sure that's a character out of Bushido Blade. Like the blonde one that wears like the mask and excels with the rapier or whatever. Hmm, scrubby stripling, huh? Black Al er Lotus is the strongest. If you fight him, you better watch out. Hmm. How do you know Myla? Mm, mm. Black Altus. What? Hey baby, you gonna do the tournament? I'd like to fight you in the tournament if you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gotta get my paladin quests done somehow. One of our very best. You mean I am your very best. But whatever. Are you sure about that? I've killed gods. No, it, it doesn't sound fancy at all. It just sounds like Ulda doing what Ulda does. Oh, we're going to have something that's g comprised of sets of two. We'll name one Nald and the other Thal. <laughs> so we're so clever. I hate Ulda. Okay, I don't really hate Ulda, but I hate Ulda. Hey, look, Myla's a G.I. Joe now. the background there, we had Bronze Bull talking to, uh... Holy shit, that announcer guy on the right looks like my main character. Kinda. It's weird. I mean, his skin's a little too dark and he doesn't have the right eyebrow uh, ridge. And I I want to be caught dead wearing that, but, you know, whatever. Blah, 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 your ancestor, blah, 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 you should still be dead. I shouldn't have brought you back. That, that, that really, they really copped out on that one. Has that motherfucker got spray on eyebrows too? My character doesn't have spray on eyebrows. Oh, his name's Adrian, huh? Hmm. A treat for the senses, huh? Well. Hmm. No, oh, our first paladin quest is is complete. Good thing we're already level eighty. We don't have to go anywhere. In Thal's name, huh? The time has come, huh? Bartholomew, huh? I wonder how badly we're gonna wreck Bartholomew. I think he's the door guard for the Sultana's chamber, right? I thank the heavens even as I curse them. Yeah, I wouldn't want to fight me neither. Not really, I don't like PvP, honestly. Like, it can be fun. Uh... But I don't know, I just, I'm not a very competitive person. Uh, unless it's a first person shooter, and then I can be competitive like everyone else. But PvP and MMOs. I don't know. 
no. His health's going down pretty fast. But not as fast as I'd like it to be going down. Ah, oh, Jip, you get Sanguine Blade? Man, when are they gonna give Player Paladin Sanguine Blade? I love that skill. You'd think they would have given it to us by now as an AoE instead of inventing new AoEs for Paladin to use. It's been in the game for a long time. Ever since Ilbert, really. Can you be stunned? You cannot. Um, okay. Well, there you go, buddy. I'm jealous that you have Sanguine Blade, but you weren't very good. Hmm. Bronze Bull, huh? This guy's got a lot of lore behind him, actually. You see it if you do crafting quests. Particularly Blacksmith, Alchemist, and I want to say Goldsmith? Quench the Hellfire Phoenix. That's Jamoldova. Hey, dude, he's like summoning boulders out of thin air, because like above us is where the people are spectating from. Maybe I ought to take him a little more seriously. That'd be okay, though. I've killed gods, dude. I've been killing them since level 20. Hand a loop! Perhaps you will be an actual challenge. Yeah, he is. He's actually kind of kicking my ass, but. Oh, he's doing that thing that the Heaven's Ward does. Good thing we already have Holy Spirit. God's Sphere, huh? Well... If a real god can't stop Clyde, then a god sphere ain't gonna do jack shit, buddy. Now oh, this again. He definitely hit a lot harder than either of the other two guys. It's the kind of strength you need to pierce dragon scale. Seems legit. Oh, look, it's evil, dirty Lollafels betting on the outcome of the match.
Yeah, bronze bull. I mean, dropping boulders everywhere is really impressive, but if you could drop them directly on me, that would be much more impressive. It might actually get you somewhere. Yeah, I'll talk to the hottie again. She is a hottie after all. What's up, hottie? I heard you were looking for me. Aw, oh, my land tends to be that person. An old name, huh? Okay, so we, we, we did our tournament bouts, and now we get to watch the other tournament bouts. Got any in-between dialogue? Nope, nothing you didn't already say. Okay, just making sure, just making sure. Dude, those guys, those two Highlanders have been training for er, since 2013. They should be the best motherfucking gladiators in the world by this point. Something. Good lord. Hell yeah, I'll watch the Null match group or whatever. Franz the Fair crosses blades with Constant, free paladin of Ishgard, huh? Though the pundits tipped Franz as the outright favorite, the younger Constant refused to be cowed, tenaciously staying in the game before landing a single mighty blow that ended the proceedings. Undoubtedly one of the upsets of the tournament, and most upsetting for all the maidens of the realm over. But that victory, or by that victory, Constant booked a meeting with the first sword Myla, who had predictably triumphed in her own opening match. For those of you who were banking on another upset, however, it was not to be. From the opening moments, it was plain from his sluggish movements that Constant's early exertions had taken their toll. Meanwhile, the first sword was all business. With her textbook perfect technique and methodical maneuvering, she took firm control from the halfway mark and didn't let it go until her opponent was on his knees. Ah, I believe preparations for the tournament's penultimate match are in order. Myla, first sword of the Gladiators Guild, will take to the arena against Black Lotus, the mystery contestant who has soundly defeated all comers. Shield swipe. Mm -hmm. Oh, he doesn't have spray on eyebrows. Good. Good. His eyes are the wrong color and his skin's a little too dark, but yeah, he's pretty much a dead ringer for my main character. In another nail-biting clash, the First Sword showed her class against an unknown opponent. However, Black Lotus kept up with her blow for blow, and seemingly out of nowhere clinched vic victory of a magnificent parry. So sublime was the timing, it calls to my mind the Sword of Nald. Ah, oh, now that you mention it, I can definitely see the resemblance. And with that sublime strike, our second Ool Cup finalist has been decided. Clyde Wyvernhide will take on the mysterious Black Lotus. In a battle that promises to go down in Colosseum, nay, Uldan history. Please look forward to it. I know I will. The eye holes aren't on the eyes of the helmet. I know he was supposed to be looking up at us, but he just actually didn't look up at us. He, he turned his head to the left. Hmm. I hate evil Lollafels. Mm 
Hmm. Honestly, Constant, I'm surprised you were able to beat Franz. In all honesty, he probably shouldn't have been able to beat Franz. Oh, everyone's like, oh man, and he, he fights just like Aldous. Gee, I wonder who he could be. Got any in-between dialogue? Nope. Just had some graphical glitches. I hope that doesn't mean that Comcast is about to fuck me. It is pretty early in the morning, and they have been fucking me over and over again early in the morning, anytime between 3 and 5 a.m. Which, in hindsight, makes me think I probably should have waited to record this. But, if worse comes to worse, it's already over 20 minutes. My videos are too long anyway, so... Sorry about that sound, scratching my arm, it hurts for some reason. Oh, also itches, but uh, I wonder if a bug just bit me or something. I don't feel a bug bite. Now there's going to be a hang-up. Those syndicate bastards betting all their money on, on stuff they shouldn't be betting on is... Pearl Lane, huh? There he is. I think his helmet's off, too. It is! 
I had. Although, honestly, the first time I ever did this quest, uh, I wasn't trying to predict anything. And when people were saying, his sword... Like, I didn't know, I didn't really see it or know it until he did shield swipe against Myla. I was like, oh, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> and this was back when shield swipe was still in the game as a player skill, too. Mm-hmm. War orphan, huh? Aw, <laughs> oh, you went off and became a dad without even humping Myla. Precisely how far beyond compare had his skills become. I simply had to see, nay, test for myself, so I made my way back to Ulda. When I arrived, I learned that the prestigious Ul Cup had been revived. If Clyde enters, I'd get my wish. If he doesn't, I'd have just have to settle for winning the tournament and resuming my wanderings. With a little help from an old friend, I acquired an invitation, and found myself a suitably menacing full-face helm. Being something of a pariah, it wouldn't do to be seen, you see. Myla's sad because she thinks that he went off and had a kid with someone else. People sitting down in AFK in front of a free company chest. It's interesting. Hmm. So does it have to just be Doubt the Truth with a capital D, or can I put other stuff in with it? Oh, yeah, okay, he, didn't, he doesn't care that I called him a hoe bag. That was easy. Didn't even have to prompt them or ask him anything, really. Just say the thing, and he's like, oh, oh yeah, my associates are out doing stuff. Mm hmm. <laughs> Isn't that a. Isn't that a Terminator reference? Yeah, they've replaced motorcycle with, uh, or bike with, uh, Chocobo.
Oh, I could have made that on Fidior. Oh well. Uncle Aldi. <laughs> Poor Myla. No hard feelings at all, Aldous, but if you use any other skills that aren't in the Paladin Handbook, I'm gonna be a little bit irritated. I mean, you can have, you can drop boulders on my head, you can use Sanguine Blade, I guess. But if you start, I don't know, doing Dark Knight skills, or I don't know, Warrior skills, or something crazy like that from the other tanks, I'm gonna be livid. Maybe not livid, I'm gonna be irritated. Yes, yes, I get it. You don't want us to be able to fly over and into the city. You want us to have to use the gate like normal people. I guess it would be quicker to use the Aetherite, but I'm retarded. I mean, not really retarded, but you know. It's an interesting looking mage. I like it. I like it. For her. Or whatever. <laughs> Raising the sword. Chivalrous armor, huh? And passage of arms. Okay, okay. But then I'd have to use Shield Bash and break a combo. And I don't think he's stunnable at all, so that's probably not going to be something I do. Proceed! Sultana. Hey, look, he's using Frenzy now. Balls, balls! It's really him. What'll happen now? 
Nothing will happen, that's what. Once expelled, a gladiator may not fight in the Coliseum again. There'll be no match. Uh-huh. Well, come on. One of the greatest swordsmen of our age is about to cross swords with a fabled hero. And you have to even think about it? Everyone here must be aching to see them fight. Is this not so? If there is any indication of dishonest conduct, I shall take his head myself. But give them a chance, I swear. Remember, the incredible performances they've given us thus far, and imagine how much finer it will be. The first sword speaks true. This is a once-in-a-lifetime event. It would be a crying shame to have it end like this. Of course not. Mm hmm. Man, he can't even hurt me. The, the gear disparity with the, the quest. Ooh, wow, four wins. Why would I stay put for you? Oh, great. Run away from him, see what he does. The four wins again, huh? But I don't want to be shield blast. I want him to do the thing that. Yeah, okay, there he goes. Lunge cut, lunge cut. They. That was not originally called lunge cut. They called it fucking plunge, because it's plunge from Dark Knight. You bastard. Was it though? I mean, you couldn't even touch me. Uh, even in the base level 70 skill, it's not that hard of a fight. Though he does about five times more damage to you in, in I-288 or I-290 gear or whatever, so...
looking at him, if I might speak plain, your grace. Which home does not exist. Well, well, I see what you did there, Master Papashan. You've revived not only Sultan Sisigan's tournament, but his vision as well. Seems a history lesson is in order. <clears throat> During his reign, Sultan Sasagan Ol Sisigan invited swordsmen of all lands to Uldah to fight with his own elite in tournaments. And in time, such tournaments came to attract cell swords, giving rise to a national institution. The Grand Diversion, that is, the Colosseum. While that was a defining development for Uldah, historians believe that, in bringing together expert swordsmen, the Sultan's true intent was to advance the gladiatorial arts. But when the balance of power shifted away from the royalists, the royal house lost access to the enormous funds needed to host grand tournaments. The revival of the Ul Cup, the promise of a non-existent prize, all of it was an emulation of Sultan Sasagan's vision. You are most perceptive, Aldous. My true purpose in bringing together the highest names in swordplay was to raise the gladiatorial arts higher, as the Sultan once did. And though we walk in his footsteps, our destination lies a little farther. For it is my hope that not only Ulda, but Eorzea as a whole, is strengthened. From the Garlean menace to the beast tribes and their primals, the realm is faced with numerous threats. If we are to protect our homes and loved ones, we must keep our blades sharp and our shields strong. Forgive me, Your Grace. Had you known there was neither tone nor technique, I feared you'd not consent to the tournament. Yeah. Give my man an executive pardon. Yeah. Seems legit. Maybe too legit to quit. Hey look, Alice changed clothes. He's back to his old ways. <laughs> What's his little boy say? I don't know if you can ever gain that kind of strength, Aldous. You don't you're not a main character and you don't have plot armor. Crossing swords with the realm's finest has raised you to greater heights. Schwing. No, it hasn't. <sighs> okay. And of course, uh... oh, available from Genlins. Okay. And now we can do this. But wings. And anyone who stands in that 
uh, takes 15% less damage from all attacks. It's really, really handy in Savage Raiding sometimes. But it does, if you move or if you try to attack, it end, the effect ends. But you, they made all ground effects like that an instant snap. So if you are like being super duper high efficiency, you can like try to time it and snap the wings onto your party and then go right back without interrupting your rotation. But it's kind of risky because if you, you know, like if you snap it and then the server doesn't pick it up, then everyone might die or someone might with low HP might die. So you're better off if, if you need it in a mitigation for your raid, you know, at least letting it sit for like a global or two. I know that's heresy to the, to the high, quote unquote high end play, but I'd rather succeed than, you know, waste time. Worth fighting for. It's the class quests are no longer blue. Kind of sad, really. So it made me go to Jinland. Oh, I guess I could show you what the level 70 uh, Paladin armor looks like. I don't think we ever see it on any NPCs. It looks pretty good. Like, it's not bad looking. Let's see, what can I just throw away? Can I throw away the 2B dress? I can! Yay! Yeah, so like, it's, it's this nice like tight white set that just looks pretty good and I don't know about the pants let's see Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I guess they're all right right and then the, the headpiece is just um, it's like a circlet or something with like a little loopy thing hanging you know it's not that bad looking Right, and I guess, look, what's the sword? The sword is, uh, the Galatine, and like, you got, like, this, you know, like, it looks pretty good, right? Like, you got this cool thing on the cape. Looks kind of like, you know, like a ethereal shield of some sort. The boots look really nice. And you can go to Eureka and get a diable version of it. Um, and if Clyde, does Clyde, did I throw away his Eurekan crystals? No, I didn't. So, like, we could probably go get, uh some stuff and make this diable if I really wanted to but I don't really care about it so yeah it's kind of whatever you know more bull green is more my style honestly up until like paladin to me like in 2.0 it was a lazy tank that I could just play and like completely relax on and then in 3.0 it got more interesting but it really suffered because they were designing fights with Dark Knight in mind hmm mm -hmm. All this is back, huh? Longing to see, huh? Looks like homie went off to the Far East and became a samurai. I think that's the crafted I-320 set. Or... Yeah, I, th I think... I think so. It might be 350. It might be 380. It's been a while. I haven't looked at the... It has two belts for some reason. No, no wait. Three belts. Was it designed by the guy that made the Final Fantasy VIII characters? Oh, hey. Paladin Quest re referencing the Samurai Quest. That's nice touch.
<laughs> sure, why not? I can even fight you on Samurai. I never got Clyde Samurai to level 80, but I could. I think that's the katana of the Crimson Lotus from the level 70 dungeons. Shares a model with the Ruby Tide Uchi Katana, I think. I'll have to see the sheath. <laughs> oh, it might just be the Alamegan Katana, but no, it doesn't. It's not, but it's not the Crimson Lotus one. That's not the same sheath. Yeah, like I was saying, like 3.0 came around, Paladin got a lot more interesting because it got like two more combos. And then, like, Clemency, and it got Divine Veil. But, like, its DPS was a lot lower than Dark Knights. And original, originally, Clemency had a three-second cast time, um, which is really bad because you can't block while you're casting. So the longer the cast time, the less likely you're going to be able to block anything. And so, like, if you casted something, like, if you tried to heal yourself up while a Tank Buster was casting... Uh, and you used Sheltron as your mitigation, then you wouldn't actually block anything. This is a problem I had to explain to Paladins in Stormblood a lot, because uh, Holy Spirit casts a lot faster, but you still risk not blocking. And so, like, there'd be so many times during, like, Neo X death where I'd watch a Paladin just die because they were going to use their Sheltron as mitigation, but they didn't want to interrupt their Holy Spirit rotation, so they just... Fuck themselves, but in Shadowbringers, Requiem Scat, when used at the right MP level, makes your spells instant cast, so they kind of got rid of that problem. Anywho, then Stormblood came around, you got Holy Spirit and Requiem Scat, and Paladin was the initiator of the buff yourself and then spam thing five times. That would eventually happen to Warrior and Dark Knight. Warrior in 4.1 and then Dark Knight in 5.0, but anywho. And then 5.0 Paladin is the most interesting Paladin's ever been. Uh, it is very, very, very cool. Like, let me just show you Confidior real quick. All right, you have to do Requiescat to unlock Confidior. And it's uh, 1,200 potency. Well, actually 800, but Requiescat buffs it to 1,200. And it doesn't diminish across targets at all. So it's ridiculous. But anywho. All right, Alice. I've got a shield. You don't. It's gonna be kind of unfair. How, how did you become so strong? You journeyed to another world and found something you couldn't bear to lose? Look, his hand is trembling. Aldous, what is the meaning of this? There's no point. As I am, I don't stand a chance against Clyde. You would admit defeat before you've even fought? It's unseemly, I. But because of my training, I've come to know, my love. Come to know the power of resolve and the difference it makes. Forgive me, I need a moment alone. 
Oh man, we shamed him. We shamed him. I guess he's got to go commit ritual suicide now. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. He, he probably didn't pick up that habit. But, uh... He's a changed man. More disciplined. Let's ride something Alamegan, since we're all Alamegans. Although I guess this technically isn't an Alamegan Griffin. Alamegan Griffins are white or blue. And there's blue griffins on the n the new Paladin A upcoming in, in Endwalkers. You can see it in the trailer. I I heard there's going to be level 90 quests, uh, capstone quests to continue jobs, like quest lines. And I truly wonder what Paladin's level 90 quest is going to be. He's not gone. Oh, he's back to his old self. Mm-hmm. Something you need to tell me, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, is he about to, uh, romance Myla here? Myla, this is embarrassing for me to say, but that which is dearest to me, that I cannot bear to lose, is the Gladiators Guild. What? The old guildmaster, he was a father to me, and this place is his home. No matter where my path may lead, the guild will always welcome me with open arms. I realize that now. Aldous, you... You... So if I'm to protect a guild, it means, well, you know. It means I have to be at the guild. So from today, I'm giving up the itinerant life. After all these years, coming and going as you please, sending nary a word, you think you can just stay here? You've got a lot of nerve. Why, Myla, if I didn't know better, I'd say you were worried about me. Sh shut your mouth! If you wish to stay, then do as you like. That's what you're good at. Ah, there's the grimace I know and love. There truly is no place like home. Ah, oh, she was she was really hoping that she was going to be the, what he wanted to, to protect. Oh, of course, of course. Swing! Well, I hope you've enjoyed Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV and the Paladin Quest line. Uh, that's it. That's it for the Paladin Quest line until Endwalkers. Uh, we've got some story patch stuff to go through, and we'll talk to them to see if they've got any dialogue. Well, anywho, like and sub if you'd like, and I'll see you again uh, shortly. I'm going to do some more recordings, actually, right now. So, 